so good to be back after a really nice Christmas break and I just want to wish you all a very happy new year. Now I know that for many of us it hasn't been the best start to the year. In the UK we are back in a full lockdown which means that we can only leave our homes for essential reasons. So that means for me making these videos that I have to come up with really creative and fun ways to keep the content fresh and engaging as I can only do the videos from here. So that's what I will be doing, but I know how much these videos provide an escape for many of you. With a lot of things that are going on in the world at the moment, we all need that escape. So I promise I will come back every week and keep doing these videos as best as I can to try and do my bit to lift everyone's spirits. Now for this video, I thought that I would share two recipes that are perfect if you were looking to make a fresh and healthy start to the new year. I know that after Christmas, I like to kind of get back into a routine of eating healthy again. I didn't really go overboard at Christmas time, but I definitely do want to get back into my routine and making healthy choices again. So these two recipes are really great. I'm first gonna start with a breakfast superfood smoothie which is really delicious and is so filling that it carries you right through the day till dinner time. And then the next recipe is a spaghetti squash. And this squash is fairly new to me. I haven't really seen them before. I was shopping at my Whole Foods store and I saw spaghetti squash. I was intrigued, so I bought one and I quickly figured out how to cook and prepare it. And then I made a little um, ratatouille to go with it and it really is delicious and so healthy especially if like me you really enjoy pasta this will be a really good alternative for you if you were looking to make a clean healthy start to the year so I'll put both of those recipes on my blog nicholasfairford.com so that you can refer to them whenever you like and for now let's get started super food smoothie we have bananas, spinach, blueberries, oat milk and some lime and the beautiful thing about this smoothie is that it's just literally putting it all into the blender, blending it, so in about three minutes you have your breakfast ready. It's that simple. So we're going to start by putting in the oat milk now, I never really measure when I'm doing this, but if you do like to measure things, I'm guessing this to be probably about one cup. I just usually fill it up to about here. Now I'm gonna add in the bananas, and this is a nice way to use up bananas rather than making banana bread. I know that was a huge thing for 2020, but maybe we're a little bit tired of it now. So if you are, use them in a smoothie. It's a really nice way to add sweetness and it's full of potassium, which is great. Then I'm gonna add in the spinach. Again, I'm not measuring. I just grab a really big handful. Spinach is something that I always like to have in the fridge. It's a really nice versatile thing that I really enjoy. And again, it's just so healthy. Being plant-based and vegan, a lot of people ask me about bones and how I keep my bones healthy. And actually spinach is one of the most wonderful things for doing just that. So let's pack the spinach in there. I'm just using my hands to put them in. This has been washed. So I think that will do. We don't want to overload the blender. And then again, blueberries, another wonderful antioxidant superfood that doctors really, really love. I know that it can um, re reduce the risk of heart disease, cancers, and lots of other nasty things. So that's a great thing to have in there. And with the lime, it just gives such a beautiful sweetness and livens the whole thing up. And as I've said before, when I'm cooking, I always do like to add in lemon or lime just to kick the dish into gear and get all the flavours going. So that's that. Lid on. And I'm just going to let you know about this blender. It's by a company called Housework and they have kindly given us a discount code to use 
so that you can purchase this if you want. I'll put the link in the description and you can use the code Fairford for a nice discount on this blender and it is a really great one. It's so powerful and um, it just whizzes through all these ingredients. So it's on and I'm just going to start by giving it a little bit of a pulse. So we've got the pulse button here, smoothie button here and ice crush here. So I'm just going to start with a pulse, make sure that the lid is firmly on. Get the milk and the liquid going around. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it on and whiz it all through. So I just want to add in the rest of my spinach before it was kind of getting a little bit full. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in last of the spinach and give it one final whiz through. I know it does kind of look a little unappetizing but when things are this color green it means they're healthy. And that's it, a very delicious super food smoothie. So a spaghetti squash is just basically this. I've cut it into two because believe me, it's quite hard and I wasn't gonna go through that on camera, having you all see me struggle, so I did it off camera. So basically, it just looks like this when it's whole and you cut it in half, and then what we're gonna do is take out this middle bit here with some of the seeds in, and then we basically just roast it in the oven for 45 minutes, and when it's completely roasted, you take a fork and the inside scrape out and it resembles spaghetti. It's really, really clever and amazing. So let's get going with this. I'm just gonna quickly remove all of the seeds and the inside of the squash. So it's very much like when you have to remove the middle of a pumpkin, but a lot easier. So there we go, that's done, that's ready. And the same again with this, just give it a hard scrape and get all of that out. I am back to work this week. I'm really busy making plans for the business and for all the new content that I'm going to be doing in 2021. So all I'm looking for is food and cooking that is really easy not time consuming, then I can just spend an hour maybe at the most in the kitchen in the evening and in that time I'll have a delicious, nutritious meal. Okay, so here we are. That is them ready to go. Next, I'm just going to take some olive oil and with my fingers, yes, I've washed my hands, I'm going to rub the squash inside and on the edges, like this, which will just give it a nice richness and flavour. And then I'm just going to take my fingers again and add a little bit of salt, rubbing it in. I do usually like to use the salt flakes, but I didn't have any left, so I've just used regular sea salt, and then the same with the pepper. Just going to sprinkle that over it. You could also, if you wanted to, use any spices that you like. Okay, so these are now fully prepared. They're going to go into a preheated oven at 220 degrees and they go face down on the baking tray and you're going to cook them for 45 minutes and they will be perfectly done. Okay. squash has about five minutes left in the oven and I'm now going to show you how to make 
the spinach sauce that's going to go on the spaghetti squash. So what I've done, it's very simple, I didn't need to film it, I've just fried some onions and some leeks together. I have steamed spinach and I've got here some vegetable stock and what I'm going to do is put them into the blender and blend them and that is the sauce. It's really, really simple. So let's do that. Start with the vegetable stock, just adding that into the blender first. Always add the liquids first. Now the onion. And celery, I think I said leek, I meant celery. And the spinach. regular spaghetti pasta this is a wonderful thing to go on top if you are not a vegan and you like meat or fish feel free to add that into the dish if that's what you like have it but this is just a really nice basic simple sauce that is delicious that is really healthy too so i hope you enjoy it okay so this is one half of the squash cooked i'm going to leave the other one over there because i'm going to use it another time and what we do is we just take the fork and simply just pull the strings and there you have the spaghetti it's so simple easy delicious guilt-free spaghetti even though i don't really feel guilty when i eat spaghetti but if you're looking to lie a bit low on the carbs this is really a great way to do it so you can see it's very hot i'm just holding the stem and there we have it. So I'm going to take the plate, take some in here. So good. Okay, and then some of the spinach sauce. Thank you so much for watching. Join me next week where I'll be sharing my winter skincare rescue tips. Until then, bye bye and take care.